Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Unchosen, and oh my word, I have finally found this stupid chest. Okay. Good amount of 7.62. Actually, good amount of 9mm, too. We got an SMG schematic we have not read. Take that, some SMG parts. Get the heck up out of here. I'm so sick of this. As I, I don't know if you guys remember in the last episode, I started with a level 19 stone shovel. Thing is degraded down to level 14. So, yeah. So done with this. And my character's stomach has been gurgling for the last hot minute. So, yeah. These nice little craters have been left as a result of this treasure map. Needless to say, we have more dirt than we know what to do with. I don't actually know if we need dirt for anything, but I'll keep it just in case we do. For some odd reason. So let's go home, get my character settled, and then we will do episode 4 here in a bit more of a proper way. You know what? We're cutting through town. I'm saving time. I got a bad feeling. Is it risky? you goddamn right it is. Maybe if we find some food in this car, it'd be great. Can't go parts. Okay, whatever. Check the trash. Never know somebody might have thrown out a can of food. Throwing out some duct tape. Uh, take the pipe. Scrap the nail. Hi there. Keep running. Oh shit. <laughs> the bandage. Keep running. Ain't worth checking the trash anymore. Okay, not helpful. Really hoping it would be, but sadly it was not. You know, my, guts were, my gut instinct was saying I shouldn't rush through this town. Like, it's gonna get me killed. And lo and behold, that dog just tried to prove me right. I couldn't tell my stomach was gurgling or if that was a dog running up on me again. Trying to loot and run. Loot and move, loot and move. Who put a bone in the car? Like, of all the things you could have put into that car, you put a bone into the car? I don't know, man. It feels pretty weird. I don't think that's what I would do. Like zombie apocalypse? Oh yeah, let me just take this random femur and throw it in the trunk. Or not even, not even in the trunk, like let's throw it in the passenger seat. Like, you know, we'll never know when this will come in handy. Actually, isn't that isn't the femur like the tough bone on the body? Like that's supposed to be like the toughest. Or, like, the, it's not, I don't know if it's like the hardest to break. I don't know, future me, if I remember to edit this part in, I'll probably, you know, throw something up on screen and be like, oh no, actually this bone is the hardest to break. I feel like it's a famer, but knowing me, future me will be right, and past me is going to probably look like an, I'm either going to look like an idiot, or I'll be in the right. Stop your moaning and groaning, we're literally at our gas station. We're literally at our passing gas. Not passing gas. Pass and gas. I don't feel like my character's gonna do any minute here. He's gonna let one loose. Although, I think if he lets one loose, maybe a little bit more in our pants than just air. Okay. We're home. Finally. Let's. Okay, I do have a. I was like, we have a lot of boiled eggs we can boil, so let's do. I know there's more eggs up top, but I'm really just going to start. And I will make all of these murky waters into water. Wow, that doesn't even do, like, anything for my timing. Okay. Let's sort the loot. I didn't even get a chance to do that yesterday. Which, I will say, I did make some extra chests here. As you guys can see, I did organize a little bit. 
I've got to put some signs on these chests, but I made this chest for food and food related things. Alright, this corn on the cob here. I'm gonna need to bring these water here. Because we do have a lot in storage, but unfortunately, we are out of wood. So we're gonna need to make a run out and get some wood. Dirty glasses. Eh, they sell for 13. It's not terrible. It could be worse. Alright. So I do want to do a little bit of exploration here. Let's pop this painkiller just to boost our health up a little bit higher. Hydrate up. Alright. I do kind of want to see how far north we can go. Like, I'll probably end up just following this road in the snow biome up. Since I don't know how far... Actually, we could travel through the burn forest. Because there was actually this little town over here that I wanted to loot as well. Let me actually, real quick, just put a quick waypoint. Just so I can see where we're going to run off to. As, yep, the barely visible red flag on the map. Alright, let's rock and roll. So, yeah, we're on day four. Which, if you guys did not watch the last episode, I highly recommend you check, keep, keep in touch on this series. Since I am using this as a bit of half supplementary, half update series for you guys. The main focus of doing the Seven Days to Die is it gives me a way to keep you guys informed as to everything that's going on on somewhat of a week-by-week -week basis. You guys can see, like, oh, we're doing, like, you know, X series on Twitch is doing this, or Y thing here is doing that, you know, that, that whole sort of thing, which I'm enjoying it. This is fun, don't get me wrong. More work than, you know, just... You know, it's more work than just streaming, but, you know, anything worth doing is never easy. Where that whole fortune cookie saying goes. But, yeah. It's it's still been fun. Getting back into the swing of things with editing videos down. You know, honestly, it's not the most exciting game in the world. Because I know most of it is just, okay, let's run in a straight line for five minutes and have dead air. While we just look at the scenery. But nah. Nah, 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 nah. Eventually, we, since we are closing in on day seven, day seven is going to be our first horde. Which. Hello, floating tree. Magic. Twelve wood is extra magic. Why? Because it was probably on acid. But yeah. Mainly, what I want to do with this series is. Half, like I said, half survive. Like, we're here to survive as long as we can. But eventually, the series probably will turn into. Just based on how Seven Days That I goes, it's going to be a lot of a scramble for ammo. That's all it usually comes down to is like fortifying a base, getting ammo, rinse, repeat. Nothing too much really going on with it. It is still fun, but at a certain point, it's like, okay, here's the cutoff for this series, which. My usual curse is I make it to, like, day 21, and by then is usually when I'm tapped out, you know, GG'd, died too many times to care. But, honestly, I think, you know, we're doing good. We haven't died in these first four days yet. You know, I, I say as we're on day four, but, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully survive long enough. So, looking forward to seeing how the late game goes, but should this series end prematurely, we will move on. I'll move into another game that'll do this similar sort of thing. Who knows? I may open up a Minecraft world and just start doing that. Like, just decide to, you know, use Minecraft as, like, a day-to-day. -day. Like, okay, well, here's how we... Like, here's where this is at, all that sort of shit. But I'll leave that up to you guys, because I am trying to... Like I said, I, like I said in a few other videos, I do want to bring YouTube sort of back to where I had it before I just realistically stop uploading which was no one's fault but my own at the end of the day like i realistically just gave up editing because i was just kind of it wasn't that i was bored of it it was just it took a lot more to edit while i was like like 
dealing with editing and streaming and promoting stuff, and it was just like, yeah, nah. Not really. If I gotta cut one thing out, I'll cut the YouTube side of it out, because that was... It was more of a hassle to deal with YouTube then, and it is now. Whereas now, dealing with YouTube... It's more that I've learned to budget my time a bit better. That's the main kicker. Because... As some of you may know, I have about the time management skills of a toddler. Like, I am not very good at reading a clock half the time and being like, okay, I need to cut off at X time, doing Y things, like, no. Generally, I just go. Like, if I start something, I don't have an end point in mind, I'm just... As the PC gamers would say, I just press a W key and go. But, eh, oh no! I'm not expecting too much, but I'd also like to give me a chance to mess around with things a bit. Yeah. Doing this series, I can get more feedback from you guys based on you know, what you're, if you like what I'm doing. Because honestly, I do. I have, was working on that challenge video that I've mentioned in a few other videos, which is the Valkyria Chronicles challenge run. I am nowhere near done. Like as of this point. I'm probably going to be working on it as much as I can, but that game, the challenge that I'm doing, it's not a hard challenge, it's just most of it is taking a long time because I'm playing like an idiot, which is what it usually always comes down to, is that I make a 3 IQ decision almost every chance I get. I hate how loud fire zombies are burning, I do not. Even when they're dead, they're just burning up a storm. It's like, you're, like, you're burned. I'm pretty sure burn victims are not still actively on fire. Like, I got a can and an arrowhead. There's so many zombies here. But I will say, of the zombie types in this game, the burning, the burn victims and the crawlers are, like, the two easiest to deal with. Oh, hello. Okay, tell me I packed iron. I'm a smart person. I see, a, I see a can in my inventory, so I'm hoping I have enough to repair this. Okay, I see you guys closing in. Well, let me just... Monkey past you. Falling out of the way too. That helps. And yeah, it helps really keep these bodies nice and organized. Shell casings, not bad. Alright. And that appears to be everybody. Cool. Try to loot this stuff, because I don't think yes, I don't think we touched it when I ran through before. But yeah, I kinda I wanna get your guys' opinions on some things every now and again. Because you know, it's nice to get feed obviously it's nice to get feedback when I'm live on Twitch. You know, you get the immediate response, usually, of getting people's reactions. But, something about YouTube, where it's like, you know, you get to collect your thoughts for a minute, put it out there, and then see what everybody feels about everything. I mean, obviously, Seven Days to Die is not going to be everybody's favorite day. And obviously, I know if I wanted to be smart, I probably would have started with it. Would have started with, you know, like, just recording Minecraft, going in doing it that way, but if y'all know me, you know I don't do conventional. I don't do things the smart way. I barely do things my own way. Um, cowboy boots sell for a bit more. The puffer coat. I thought the puffer coat is like one of the better clothing that you can get. As well as the duster. Loot this little town here, because we got nothing else going on. But yeah, all in all, like I said, I want to get your guys' opinions on things, because I'll definitely consider them for the next game we do after this. Because obviously, Seven Days to Die is not going to be the only game that exists here for YouTube.
I heard I thought I heard somebody moving around and so I was like, what the fuck is happening? But yeah, like in terms of content wise, I do want to bring more challenge runs of sorts into it. Like ideas that I think could work on stream, but I'm also going to enjoy or not even so much enjoy it more, but get more value out of it by editing it down, cutting out a lot of the filler. It was like this Valkyria challenge I'm doing, which, I mean, I'll tell you, if you guys made it this far in the video, I'll tell you straight up what it is. I'm trying to do a no upgrade run. Like, no new guns, no leveling up units, no, like, no new anything. We are just a day one crew, and that's all we get. We can get new people, but I'm also trying, and I figured I would also add the caveat, which is the reason it's taking so damn long, is... Yeah, it's the caveat of I'm also trying to do it as a no deaths challenge, so nobody not nobody's allowed to even go down. Yeah, not my brightest move. It hasn't gone terribly. I say that you know in about six hours of recording, I think I'm on chapter four. So yeah, I have made about a whole no progress, which isn't terrible. I mean, the early missions are the I know the late game is going to be even worse. And the only reason I'm even struggling at the, the on Chapter 4 is because, as I've said earlier, I'm making about three IQ plays. So, yeah. Y'all know me. Y'all know I don't do things the smart way. Which, you know, some things never change. But that is definitely one of them. Uh, I don't have a stone. Okay. Here's somebody like I need a small stone. This is nice that I only need one stone to really repair this thing. So I don't care about zombies right now. I just want to get back up to the attic. Somebody drove through this garage. So that was not the smartest of moves. I want to break these blocks around it because I know that's the trick you could do with Older, the older build is what you could do to take the safe and just break all the blocks around it that are connecting it. And that would allow you to... It'll just drop. Yep. I should... Unless they change it to where you don't get the loot. Oh no, there's the bag. Okay. I guess we got hunting rifle parts, 44 magnum grip, and a pistol barrel. Sweet. I'll take this for a little bit of iron as well. That saves a ton of time of having to break through that safe. I don't think there's anything up on the roof, but I will check just the same. Might be like a bro bird's nest up here. Oh, I'm playing for the airdrop. Fine. Yeah, so that orange marker is going to stay on the map, so we'll probably go scoop that up before the end of the day. Probably loot this town and then go check that. Those, like I've said, those usually have antibiotics, medicines in them. So, never a bad thing to scoop up. If only I looted you. Yep. I can hear a zombie doing something. I don't know where you are. Oh, somebody's breaking into this house. Hello? I know Mr. Burn Victim. Hey, break this. There you go. Good job, bud. Here, let me help you break this door down, bud. I'll leave with a little bit. You gotta do something. Come on, help me out. Help me out here, man. Really? Come on. You did it, seriously. Wow, you waited for me to do that. Okay, I'll give you credit. You got a little bit more brain than I expected out of you. And you brought me a challenge note. Why the heck not? Don't feed the bears. Oh, goody. Right, I forgot there were bears on these, these seven days to die. 
don't know how I managed to forget them. Yeah, we're not doing that right away, because bears are extremely tough. Like, if you thought dogs would kill you quickly, no. Bears will run your shit in. You can generally cheese out a bear, though, if you're on high ground. So, it's not terrible. But I don't want to use a pistol. That's my only way of dealing with them, because that's not going to be fun. Okay, let me just get that so I can see. I don't know how that zombie even got in here, if I'm being completely honest. Like, where did you come from? I'm hoping for food. It looks like a can of pears behind, a can of peas, it'd be great. Maybe the zombie was in the house? Feels weird that he would have already been in the house, seeing as none of these doors are open. Fine, I'll scrap the chairs. Let's see. I think this replaces my helmet. No, it doesn't. Okay. This, I know, does, and it's only worth seven bucks, so I'm not doing that. Uh, black cowboy boots, sell for ten bucks. BDU top, is that replaced? Plant fiber shirt, goodbye. You sell for twelve. You sell for nine, no thank you. Alright, keep looting here. We can do. Ooh, this looks like it might be valuable. Or not. Or I just debated myself. That hat, I'm gonna scrap. Same with this old chair. Oh, thank you. Where did that chair just go? Oh, right here. Chair and a hat. I don't care. Up you go. There we go. Oh, plant fiber shirt. Okay. I don't need you. Oh, we already checked upstairs. So let's just bounce. Let's get out of here. Check the next place. Already about 1.30 in the afternoon. Closing in on 2. So we're going to need to be a little quicker about our looting and perusing. I really like the open floor plan of this place. Crazy. Come on, gun in the toilet. We found our first gun. I mean, I can always hope that we're going to live up to that, but I don't know how likely that's going to be. I want to ditch these coffee beans because I really don't need them. Probably never going to use them, honestly. You know, just the cloth, too, because I can get cloth pretty much anywhere. I keep that extra wrench, though. An extra wrench will definitely come in handy. And this fridge is really holding the place together, huh? Yeah, I know. Am I infected again? Eh, whatever. We got more antibiotics at home, so I'm not too worried. Ooh, a bookshelf. Anything good here? Ooh, what book is this? Oh, that is the best book to ever get. Because this is the only vehicle we'll get access to. Is the mini bike. And you had best believe finding that on day four. That is a gift from the gods above. Because holy moly. You don't get much better than that. Like outside of finding a freaking gun with tons of ammo. We ain't got no chance of getting better than a mini bike book. Alright, so more loot. I just don't feel like it's got much. A little office up here. And I'll scoop the paper, because in bulk the paper is worth a bit. Okay, really? Oh, because I'm hungry, that's why. I was gonna say, I'm like, why am I losing my overall wellness? And it's like, oh, right, because starving like an idiot. Um, I'll just scrap these because I don't need them. Alright, you know what? 
screw the rest of these these towns. They're probably not going to have much we need anyway, and we've already peaked in terms of loot. Let's go check the supply drop. The supply drop should have quite a bit of good supply. How far is it? Oh, not that far at all. Okay, probably have to cross the river and that's about it. If that... Let's see. Check this loot. And then we'll go home. Ooh, it's in the desert. Ow, okay. Pop a pill real quick, just to boost a little bit of my health back up. Ooh, yuccas are also a decent source of food. Alright, 12 coin, you're not really worth it. Scrap down what we can here. The name of the base. As many yucca as we can out of here. Plant fibers don't care. Right. Perfect that we lost those. There's a shovel. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through this inventory a lot off episode, off camera. There's the parachute. Scoop as much of the free, not accent or wasting durability yucca we can. It may not do much, but it is good for food. Plus, you can make yucca seeds and pretty much make your once you can get your own food going. Oh god, I love that random tickle in my throat. But once you can get like yucca plants going, you're generally set. I love that this whole supply crate was held up on a cactus. SMG barrel, iron gloves, okay. Antibiotics, first aid kit, and a sniper rifle receiver, okay. All right, what can I live without right now? Number one, go without a human turd, the antibiotic. Two, mushroom spores can stay behind. That first aid kit. Flashlight's worth a lot of money. Don't I need? I hate doing this because it's like such a hard decision of like what do I keep and what do I scrap. Uh, scrap the pipe. Take the SMG barrel. All right. And let's start heading home. Here we go. All right. So let's start driving northeast towards home. Alright, I don't have space for yuccas in here. Um, I guess I can live without feathers. Yeah, because I don't have any stone to make arrows right now, and I can live without that. But food is going to be very, very essential. Try to scoop as much yucca as we can here. Actually, I could pop those antibiotics now that I'm thinking about it. Because not only will that save space, that also clears up our infection. Ooh, aloe vera, that is also another great thing to find. Because you can use aloe vera to make first aid bandages. And those are god sent among healing. Potato seed! I really need glue. If I need glue, we can always use bones and murky water to make more. So, try and run. At least yuccas, we get a little bit of food out of it, so it's not the end of the world. It's good to know that we're not too terribly far from the desert, so. It's some decent news, you know, we made a little bit of progress. I mean, hey, to be fair, we found the best thing we could get in that freaking mini bike book. Because in this build of the game, that's all we've got. We don't get any other options. It is just 
mini bike or on foot. And we've and since we already got an engine and a battery, that is two of the bigger pain in the necks out of the way. So all that's left is just getting like the forged iron to make the chassis, the help handlebar, the head or the I think it's chassis and handlebar. And then you'll just need to get wheels, which you can get wheels fairly easily. If we're lucky. I don't know if I need to use a wrench on the wheels. I haven't gotten one yet, but I also haven't tried smacking too many wheels that we see on the ground. Mainly because, you know, I spend a lot of my time off-roading. But we'll see. We'll see if I have the resources to make most of the stuff for the mini bike. And we'll kind of be playing it by ear from there. We spend the rest of the day getting some wood. Like, do what we can to maximize our loot but i think we do need more wood because i'm out of wood between the campfire and the forge but otherwise we're not doing terribly we will need food so i may yeah, yeah we feel yeah we're looking because we can always check in town for more food or just run down to the desert and scoop as much yucca as we can carry those yucca plants are, I think they're 5% per plant. So that is definitely great. But, hmm, we'll see. Of course, it also doesn't help if we scoop eggs out of the... Yeah, it would have been nice to scoop eggs out of there instead of feathers, but oh well. It's also nice in this full inventory that we've got here. Don't gotta worry about picking up plant fibers. All the extra junk that we're running into. So, like that. But I think, all in all, outside of wood, we're doing pretty good. We only need a little bit. Or not like a little bit, but at least, you know, a fair bit. I'll try and drop some wood into here, which I don't even need as much. I need about like eight minutes worth. It's like eight. Let's go eight twenty. Should be enough. And I can toss a bunch more into the forge because we are going. The forge is arguably going to be probably our biggest use of wood. We're going to be smelting down a whole bunch of brass. that i'm curious like i said i do know we need forged iron so i'll probably just have to smelt we can do six at most with the wood we have in or with the iron we have in there let me put the iron we have in here as well just to add a little extra to it and yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just run the forge and let everything else do with the can. I'll probably chop wood for the rest of the episode, so you guys don't need to see all that tedious, monotonous nonsense. So, I'm going to wrap things up here. If you guys did enjoy, do YouTube stuff down below. Like the video if you did. If you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe. I do have other videos I'm going to be working on in the future, so make sure you stay up to date between here and the Twitch channel that is linked down in the description below. Which, if you guys do check that out, I am live generally at least every Tuesday, Thursday. I try to sprinkle more streams in as life permits. But from that, we will see what happens. So thank you guys for hanging around. It really does mean a lot if you guys stick 